What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Controls Guru channel. Elephant in the room, I haven't posted a video in a while and I do apologize for that. I've been really busy in the office recently and I just haven't had a ton of time to record a video. But today I, you know, I had some time and I saw a post on a Facebook group that I belong to and a guy had asked a question. He had some VAV boxes on a customer site and they were tracking zone temperature obviously and when they would trigger an alarm, the customer asked that in the alarm message to include the room location of where the VAV box was located because they didn't know what VAV 11 was. They only knew conference room 101 or office 101 or Joe's office. So they wanted that information included in the alarm message and he was curious how to do that. So I figured I would show you guys how to go about doing that. All right, so we've got our demo here open. Let me go ahead and show you guys the first step in the way that I would approach this. Now, obviously with Tritium and the framework that Tritium does, there's a lot of different ways that you could possibly do this, uh, but I found that this way is probably the easiest and fastest way. It also accomplishes some other goals that may, may help you in the future as well, and I will show you a bonus trick at the end of the video. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our trusty services and go to our program service. You guys know I love that service. We will go ahead and find all the VAVs in our system. So our VAVs, as you guys have seen in previous videos, we'll do display name, <clears throat> like, and then we'll do VAV star. Same demo that we've had in plenty of other videos. And there we go. We don't want this folder here so we could delete this because it pulled one extra file. But here are our 28 VAVs that we have on the system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a slot. We're gonna call this a Baja. We're gonna look up a string. Our new name, this can be whatever you want that makes sense. What I'm gonna call this is room location. In our new value, we're just gonna put enter room description here, okay? And this way you put this information here. If you forget to enter a room description, it'll remind you to do that here once you, uh, once you edit. It'll make more sense here in a second. Hit okay, get our confirmation. Now if we go ahead and collapse our services, open up our BACnet network, go to our VAVs. If I open up the slot sheet of a VAV, you're gonna see that the slot was added, that room location, Baja string. Now if we view the property sheet, the AX property sheet, probably easier, excuse me, AX property sheet. Here's our enter room description here. So for this room, this is just obviously a demo, so we're gonna make random things up. We're gonna call this Office 101. We'll go ahead and save it. We'll do the same thing for this, and you just kind of rinse and repeat across the board. We'll call this conference room six. Why not? Okay. And we'll do one more. VX property sheet. Enter room description here. Let's call this lobby. Perfect. Works for me. Okay. And again, you would rinse and repeat through all the rest of your VAVs. Yes, it's a little bit of time consuming to do that, but it is what it is. So now that we've entered all our room locations, now we need to enter the alarm information so that it tracks this information. For starters, what I want to show you guys, if I go to my alarm, and I've done this pre already to kind of set it up so I didn't waste your guys' time, if we go to our console, I've got an alarm that I have tripped here. Again, this is just a demo, so it's not an actual alarm, but this would be a standard alarm, okay? So this one just says RTU1, office temperature is 58 degrees. This exceeds the alarm limits of 60 degrees and 80 degrees. If you double click that, you're gonna get some alarm record information. Now this alarm data, if you can see in this white box here, this is all the information that you can display in your alarm messages. Unfortunately, there's no way, as far as I know, to link anything outside of this alarm data and alarm information inside of the alarm messages. So just be aware of that. I tried many different ways to pull different data, but unfortunately there, I, I couldn't figure it out. I just wanted to show you guys that so you guys know what's potentially possible if you, you, know, you wanna use this same sort of technique for anything else that may arise relative to what we're trying to do here with the alarm data information. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a VAV. We're gonna go ahead and open up a VAV and we're gonna open up the wire sheet of our points. Again, this is a, I grabbed this, all these controllers from a, an actual live site in the past just to set it up easy, but everything's gonna be stale and down. But we're just gonna create a new point. We're gonna call it um, test set point, okay? Or you could do test zone temperature, whatever the case may be. We're just gonna do a test point because I wanna be able to 
We'll set it to degrees Fahrenheit, save, expand our points out, expand our test set point, open up our alarm palette. If you don't know how to do that, if it's not already open, just hit this open here, type an alarm. There's your Niagara alarm module, your extensions. Now for a set point, we're going to grab the out of range alarm extension and drop it onto our test set point. Let's go ahead and configure our options. Our out of range alarm is here. So for the source name, parent dot display name is going to say test set point. But we want to be more specific and tell it what VAV box it is. So that's another two levels ahead of it. So we're going to do parent dot parent dot parent dot display name colon and I'll put a space. So now it'll read source name will read VAV one dash one colon space test set point. Okay, great. Now the last thing I want to do is we need to put because we can't reference anything outside of alarm data within our messages. We need to put our the, the reference into the source name. So we're going to put zone serves colon and then we'll put the location of the slot that we added for the room location was again on the VAV controller level. So again, that was three levels ahead of the out of range alarm. So we're going to do parent dot parent dot parent dot. And then we called that slot room location. And again, remember case sensitivity matters. Okay. So now the way this is going to read is going to read VAV one dash one colon zone. I'm sorry. It's going to test set point space dash space zone serves and then it should say the room location name now that we have this in our source name we can do our out of off normal algorithms because again this is going to be an out of range limit so we're going to set our high limit to 80 our low limit to 60 and again this is all preference to how you guys do your setups and what points you're mapping so for the high limit text what we're going to do is we're going to do alarm data dot and then source name is and then we can do alarm data or no, you know what? Let's do alarm source name is currently at, and there we go. Alarm data dot present value period. This exceeds the limits of, and then we can do alarm data dot low limit and alarm data dot high limit. Okay. And that's a way of templating. So it can be the same on every single point that you do. It'll, it'll fill in those numbers relative to your high and low limits. And the reason why I think that's important is the customer, when they receive a text message or an email, or they're just viewing the alarm console, they want to know what the current value is to know, you know, is it a huge issue or not? Okay. So then we can go up here to our normal text and we can say, Alarm data dot source name has returned to normal. And we'll save that point. Okay, so now we set up our alarm point with all our information. We've got the room location in here. And then down here, the source name is going to reference that same room location. Okay. So 80 and 60, we're going to set the value actions set our value to 72 view our alarm console nothing should be there minus that old alarm that we had from previously and that is true so now we'll go back to our point Oops. let's go ahead and override it just to simulate an alarm action and we'll set it to 55 it triggered the alarm and here it is okay now it says VAV 1-1 test set point. So it's named where the V, what VAV, what the point name is, and then where it serves. Okay. And then again, it repeats that same information. Test set point zone serves office 101 is currently at, oh, I missed the space. So we can go back and correct that later at 55 degrees Fahrenheit. This exceeds the limits of 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, all the important information in that alarm context all at once. Okay. And what's great about that is you can replicate, you can copy and paste this out of range alarm and replicate it across the board, across all of your VAVs. And it's going to adjust that room location point 
the high and low limits and the current value to be what is set within that VAV box. And that's an awesome feature. And that's how you would do that. Now I promised you guys one bonus little tip here. What we can do here is I'm going to show you guys what also why I do it with the slot functionality is because when I go to relativize a graphic, so let's go back to our program services. Let's scroll up here. Program services. We have our same VAVs that we had earlier. So we're going to go ahead and add a slot and we're going to add a PX view. Okay. PX file. So I've got a PX file on the station called FPVAV. Okay. And we'll call it just FPVAV. So it's just the same. Hit OK. So that's going to add a PX view to all the VAV boxes. Okay. So now, again, this is just a very generic template that I had created from the boxes that we um, have points in. Again, everything's faulted and stale. That's fine. So we can go ahead and edit this, open up our kit PX, throw a bound label up here, make it a little bigger. And again, this is, you guys can configure it however you want it to make it look the best. For the ORD, we can do slot colon. And then we can do that room location, okay? For our text, it's going to be uh, percentage sign dot percentage sign. That's good. And then before that, actually, we can put zone serves. Boom. And then we'll make our font a little bigger. Make it Arial Black so it's nice and big. 26. We'll bold it, whatever. You guys can, again, play around with that. Boom. You can put this on your relativized graphic, clear it out. Now, when I go between VAVs, it's going to, now again, correct, make sure we make this big enough because obviously different rooms are going to have different sizes. So just make sure you got big enough space for it to read all there. So we got zone serves and it's going to adjust based on those points. And then again, if we go further, it's going to say enter room description here. And that's why I put that there. So that would be an indication to you that you forgot to enter that room information. And that's the end of the video. I hope this guy's helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Check out some of my other videos for some other tips and tricks. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.